In this video, we're going to look at the difference between setting a format for a time column that makes the parsing of the data in the data loading uh, work correctly, as opposed to setting a format for presentation purposes. Now, here I'm loading data from a web service, and we've got a column here called timestamp. It's right in the middle. It says timestamp, but currently it's a numeric column and we see some pretty big numbers here. And if I look at in my columns definitions, I can see timestamp right here and it's set as numeric. Now, the problem with this is that the value is indeed numeric, but in order to make this come through as a timestamp, I need to treat it as time and the format needs to match what the data is. In this case, it's POSIX with milliseconds. So at this point, if I do refresh preview and we relocate the column, timestamp is now here and it looks like this. It has the clock symbol and that signifies a time column in Panopticon. It still looks like numbers. It's still POSIX with milliseconds. So the next step to make it look like date and time is to go into the schema editor under the columns pill here. And we go to timestamp and we change the default display format from POSIX millis to something else. For example, year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and milliseconds. And now we recognize these values as dates and times.